Hello, my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is my player two. If you wish to be that specific, and welcome once again to a little discussion video on the game Dragon Ball Legends. Yes, I wanted to actually go ahead and make this video. I wasn't actually planning on doing it at first, but after playing a lot of PvP, I felt as though I should go ahead and address something when it comes to Dragon Ball Legends. All right. On the screen right now, um, when, uh, if, if I'm able to, Pat, uh, future Pat, make sure the pictures show up on the screen right now. I've been playing a bunch of uh, PvP matches, especially like when I'm rendering out videos for, for the week. I was playing a lot of PvP in the background, and I've noticed one thing. It might be because of the fact that uh, I'm in the lower ranks right now. My account is only rank 30 at the time, but I wanted to talk about something. These teams that you currently see right now, I've um, made sure to block the names, by the way, so uh, do not worry. <laughs> Your names are not out there if you happen to see this video. But these teams are, unfortunately, they do not work too well. Um, I know a lot of people, when it comes to Legends, when it comes to Legends, and when it comes to Dragon Ball games and gacha games to begin with, if you have the top tier card, you want to put them on your teams. You have sparking cards, you have SSRs, you have five-star cards in gacha games. You want to be able to put them all on your team because you think, well, guess what? They're the top cards. I should put them on my team because they're the top cards. Well, unfortunately, Legends is a tad bit different than normal gacha games. And what I mean by that is if you put, if your entire team is sparking, most likely it's not going to work. Unless they are all like a certain character, then yeah, they're going to work. But for right now, it most likely is not going to work. And I'm going to teach you this why, okay? So, let's go here. I'm going to go and show you guys my team that I currently use right now. This is the team. This is my main team that I'm currently using. I have uh, Super Saiyan Broly, Gogeta, and Super Saiyan Bardock as my starting three. As you can see right here. And then my bench right now is Super Saiyan Vegeta EX Goku and EX Raditz. Yes, as you can tell, I am using two EX cards on my team. Um, the question, uh, people always come up with that and be like, why the heck are you using these EX cards? Because they're just like, you know, normal, rare, they're just like rare cards. They're not really that good. That's true. They aren't that good when you put them on your, as the starting three. These X EX cards, you will not want to use as your starting three. They're pretty weak and they will get your butt kicked. EX Goku, on top of it too, is the first EX card, your first summon card you will ever get, is that Goku. And the thing is, though, people always say like, oh, he's your first card. You probably don't want to use him. Wrong. If you're running a Saiyan team, I recommend to always use him if you do not have the cards that you need. Now, see here. The reason being is because of this, okay? Here we go. These three cards. The reason why these three cards or your top tier cards is because these guys work very very well together as you can see they give off boosts to super saiyans even our even our um super vegeta down here is giving a boost to super saiyans um you can see bardock all three of these are super saiyans so each of them are going to be getting that super saiyan boost on top of it too these two characters are currently benefiting each other as well because they run in the episode a saga from the movies teams. See, these guys run these two together, which are really, really well. These guys work together perfectly for that. Um, I know that uh, Gogeta over here also has it for Fusion Warrior. And the only other Fusion Warrior in the game is currently Gotenks. So those two work together really, really well. But not currently at the same time. It's because um, Gotenks is actually classified as a hybrid Saiyan. So they wouldn't actually work with normal Saiyans. Now, on top of it, because they are Super Saiyans, they also have the Saiyan Link. So these guys will also work with that. The reason why Raditz is down here is because currently right now, Raditz has one of the best, one of the best Saiyan max health um, stats in the game as of right now. Raditz is fantastic if you're running a strict Saiyan team. If you're not running strict Saiyan teams, I don't recommend using him. But if you want to, if you are running a strict Saiyan team, and yes, Gogeta does classify as a uh, as a Saiyan warrior, go ahead and pop him on your team. He's really, really good, and he will make your Broly 
a freaking raid boss. Okay, after he after he transforms, my Broly is like level 2,000, uh, 498 percented. This Broly has about like 1.2 million health after transforming. This guy's a freaking monster. Everyone else is around like 700 to 800,000 health as well. It's just really, really good. And this Goku on top of it, max base health as well. This Goku is actually boosting your health as well on top of it. See, these wise, I do not be afraid to use EX Warriors on your bench. It is perfectly fine. The game actually wants you to use EX Warriors on your bench. If you're running a team that has EX Warriors and it's the top, your starting three is an EX Warrior, I kind of recommend trying to go for a sparking character over that. Unless you don't really have anything, stick with stick with your type. Stick with the stick with the tag. Stick with the tag. You make it a Saiyan team. Make a Saiyan team. Make it a Sagas of the movies team. Make a Sagas of the movies team. Make it an Android team. Make an Android team. Like I say on that, we're actually going to show off the top tier number one Saiyan team that you could be running on on in uh, uh, Dragon Ball Legends as of right now. And this right here is your team that you could be running. Very similar to mine, huh? Very similar to mine. The only thing that's different about it is there's Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well on here. Um, this is a... Oh, by the way, I know that I haven't talked too, too much about it. This website is called... This website I'm getting everything from is from Game Press. Game Press is really, really good when it comes to talking about Dragon Ball Legends and other Dragon Ball games to begin with. And they go in-depth analysis as to why you should be running these teams. So... That's the case. This is your team that you want to be running if you want to be making any, a strict Saiyan team. See, they have the EX Raditz there because he's just got the best health boost. You can even scroll down here and it will explain to you why this te why these teams are super, super good. Why these guys are currently on the team. And, like, you even explain the, um, your Raditz here. Raditz, right at the bottom here. Right here. EX Raditz is, is needed to give the team a ton of survivability with his max health. Uh, buffing the ability, the essential turns, uh, SP, Super Saiyan, Broly, uh, into a per into a raid boss, incredibly hard to kill, and being one of the most potent offensive fighters in the game. So that's why, you do not be shy, I keep saying it right now, do not be shy to run EX Warriors. Make sure you're always trying your best to see what you can use, like what you can use to make your team good. Sit down for a second, okay? Sit down for a second. Look at your, look at how many people that you have. Look at your teams. Look at your characters. What can you make them... What can, what team can you make? That's what I'm trying to explain here. What team can you actually make with your fighters? Can you uh, make a Saiyan team? Can you make an Android team? Can you make a hybrid Saiyan team? Can you make a Fusions team? Can you make a Regeneration team? Just look at it. Honestly, one thing about this is that if you have a bunch of Sparkings, I recommend seeing what they actually line up with. Do not put sparkings together just because you have a bunch of sparkings. I recommend never doing that because if you started to put like Android 17 on the same team with Super Sam Bardock, it makes no sense. Those two cards will not work together. They don't have a single link together and it's making your team hella weak. I know that they're strong by themselves, but what makes them shine even more is when they work together. So we can even see here. Let's go ahead and actually check out, because we are at the top Saiyan team. Let's go check out, hmm. Let's go check out the top hybrid Saiyan team, okay? Top hybrid Saiyan team right now is, these are your core assets right now. Even they have uh, this Goku, this uh, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on the bench. Interesting. And he's not actually like, you know, because he's just got that high attack damage. High attack damage, and you can see that. You want to be able to run this stuff. Um, you want to be able to run it. It's really good. Now, if you go top Android team, this is your top Android team you currently want to run right now. Look at the bench right now. Look at the bench. EX units, every single one of them on the bench is an EX unit. Use your extremes. They are there. They're really easy to farm, and I always recommend to use them because they just make everything so much better. Who cares if you have six markings on a team? Three of them, you're not even going to even notice they're on the field. And most likely, they're not even going to give you any boost. Look, use your EX units. I recommend it. It'll make your it'll make your life much easier. And also, these EX units, almost all of them are farmable too. Go ahead, do that. It's really good. Um, on top of it, Frieza Force teams. If you want to make a Frieza Force, um, you can see here, Dodoria and this Frieza are also part of it. 
EX units for days. EX units. Say it with me. EX units. EX units. EX units. Like, it's so good. They're great. They're great together. And then you can read just how, just why these EX units work together. Why they do that. And it's just, you know, it's just great. I recommend to always use them. All the time. Use them. All the time. Alright, and last but not least, let's look at top regen teams. Top regen team. Look. EX unit. EX unit. I'm telling you. You're gonna want to do that. Do not be afraid to use EX units. I'm telling you. It's really, really, they're really use. I'm gonna stop saying use EX units. But, like, just use them. They're there in the game. They're pretty easy to get. I always recommend using them. Um, so go right ahead and do that. And if you wanted one more look at my main team, this is it. This is my main team as of right now. Eventually, I will be trying my best to make it better. Because right now, EX Goku is good on my team. But I would prefer to have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku just on my, my uh, Doki Legends account. I don't have him yet. I still got to pull him. Uh, I really want him. <laughs> I love Super Saiyan 3. It's one of my favorite transformations of all time. And I really want him. But for right now, this is a good team. This is pretty solid, okay? So I recommend that. Go back into your teams. Look at it. Who can you run? And do not be afraid. Once again, do not be afraid to just use a team that doesn't have all sparkings. It's great. But on that note, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining once again. Thank you to um, GamePress.gg. For providing this website to us. This website is fantastic. I'll leave a link down in the description down below for you guys to check out for yourselves. Um, this this website is just fantastic for just showing off how to play this game to, and become the top tier of this game. Like, there's just so much. Even like stuff that I didn't even think about, they have broken down for you. And it's just it's just really good. But on that note, guys, I'm gonna say thank you guys for joining once again, and I'll be seeing you later. Ta -ta. Take care, everybody. Say it with me one more time. E. X. Units.